Good morning and welcome to the new vlog. As you can see, we left our lovely villa and yes, today is the day when we are leaving Spain after six weeks in glorious sunshine between mountains and the sea with a drink in our hand playing badminton and ping pong in January. Yeah, that's it. Time to move on. had quite a busy morning. Some of us packed in peace, Marek. Some were packing frantically, me. I always promised myself I will never leave it till the last moment and I usually do. What about you? Do you pack like Marek or do you pack like me? Anyway, we managed to pack and leave the door closed behind us. We managed to get Diesel a European Union passport. He's got a Spanish passport and he got it like that, so easy. So we are on our way to Bézieux, that's where we will stop for the night because our route is quite long. France, France is enormous, absolutely enormous to drive through. So we break our journey in stages and the first stop is Bézieux. So I will be back to give you an update when something interesting happens because between the stops not much happens really. It's more or less this all the time. We are enjoying last hours in the sun, in the car, but still seeing the sun, which is good enough. So give us thumbs up to cheer us up as it's the day we are leaving Spain. Hello, hello, good afternoon. It's half past one in the afternoon. It's gray and dark, plus seven degrees outside. We are in France. Yesterday we covered about 400 kilometers from La Mea de Mar to Bézier in southern France. Today we are going from Bézier to Beuna. It's a town where we are eating pizza from a vending machine on our way to Spain. Some of you may, may have watched this video. Oh, I forgot to give you an update about our car. As you can see, we are in our car. Uh, it was fixed on time. It wasn't cheap, but it was done on time. So we are relieved and happy that we can carry on our with our trip and we can uh, start our return journey back home to the UK. So this is one of the stresses of uh, traveling in your own car, uh, traveling long, longer distances. Anything could wrong, go wrong with your car at any point. And it's especially stressful if you travel in a motor home or a camper van because this car is not only your vehicle, it's also your home. And this is the place where you keep all your belongings. So that's super stressful. We've been there, we've been there before, we've done it. We've been in a, a motor home in Spain and we had some serious breakdown. Anyway, we are dreaming of a time when we will be flying around the world and we will be renting other people's cars, other companies' cars, and we will not be worrying about breakdowns. So far, yeah, we've done a few hours. We, we set off at nine o'clock today. It's half past one. We had two breaks uh, and we are approaching city of Lyon. It's a shame. This is everything I can show you. There is no time for sightseeing. There is no time for stops. And I personally find it heartbreaking because we are driving next to these beautiful cities and towns, but we are not stopping for any sightseeing. Anyway, maybe one day we'll come back to France to do sightseeing because it's a beautiful country. It is cold. As you can see, I have a headband, which my mom made me. Thank you very much. And I've been drinking hot tea. Uh, to stay warm, yeah, it's uh, shocking. The temperature difference is absolutely shocking. If you are interested in what tea I'm drinking today, it is... It is amazing Spanish tea with turmeric, yellow, very healthy, very good. And you have this silly flask and I never know which, which side is top, which side is bottom because it looks absolutely the same both ends so it's always a bit of lottery and excitement when i'm trying to get hot water for my tea well, welcome to lyon ladies and gentlemen this is an interesting point on our journey if you want to drive across france from south to north or north to south you have to drive either through paris uh, awful or through the center of lyon and we chose lyon which is smaller 
half a million of inhabitants, it's an interesting place for many reasons. So Lyon is a big port, important city in France, and it's uh, very interesting because it's a place where two rivers meet. It's like a junction of two main rivers in France, Rhone and Saone. And the place where they cross over is called uh, Confluence. Have you ever heard of it? So this is one of those big rivers. Uh, the city is a big working port. Yeah, quite mind blowing really. And the big building which looks like a spaceship. Uh, this is a museum of Confluence. How to describe this city? I would say it's dynamic. It seems dynamic. It seems thriving. It's work in progress. It's a huge building site. It's quite exciting, especially if you are interested in industry and transport. Cranes everywhere, huge blocks of flats. Not a place for us to stay or live in, but it's quite interesting to look at. And it's a home of a big football club as well. Those of you who follow football, maybe you will write something more about it in the comments. It took us about 15 minutes, maybe even less than that, to drive through the center of Lyon. Amazing, remarkable. Many cities could learn from Lyon when it comes to traffic and managing traffic in a big city. Well, half a million of people, that's for me a big city. Is it a big city for you? Where are you watching us? Let us know what kind of place you live in and have you been to any big busy cities and what's the traffic like where you live we set off at nine o'clock this morning it's two o'clock now and we have only an hour and 20 minutes uh, in a car left uh, so we have yeah 146 kilometers to our next hotel and it's brilliant i love traveling like that we wake up in the morning have breakfast drive for maybe four up to five hours a day stop for the night rest get some shopping relax uh, you know shower and uh, be ready for the next leg of the journey in the morning so it's really really nice we don't have to rush we can stay for the night we can rest and it's, it wasn't always like that when we were younger and we were covering similar distances we would just drive almost non-stop swapping it with each other behind the wheel we wouldn't stay in hotels because because firstly we couldn't really afford them and secondly we didn't have time maybe maybe we had only two weeks for the whole trip so we didn't really have time to stay for the night so things improved over the years a benefit of getting older and wiser and uh, if you are planning a similar journey through France, I'm collecting all the receipts and bills. And towards the end of this vlog, when we finish our trip through France, I will tell you how much it cost, how much we spent for petrol and for paid highways. So if you are planning a similar journey, I hope this will be helpful and useful information for you. So see you in the next scene, which probably will be in the hotel where we are staying for the night. Hi, hello, welcome. Are you still with me? Let me know in the comments if you are still with me, if you got to this point of this vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in France, uh, in a hotel. It's our last hotel in France. Today we are heading straight for the Euro Tunnel. I didn't film the previous stops because there was nothing special about them, really. There was nothing to film, but we are staying in a lovely place today. Look at that. They gave us a beautiful room right next to the reception on the ground floor because we said we have a dog. So we got a room on the ground floor with lovely French doors. That meant very easy walks with diesel getting in and out was very easy. Also helped us with packing. So Marek and Diesel are in a car. Uh, we are almost ready to go. And I have to say that this is one of the nicest rooms we've been to in France. It's still a budget hotel, so you know, don't expect fireworks. 
Who knows, maybe if this channel grows, I will show you some luxurious hotels in the future. Today, we, we put up with something standard, something cheap, a bit dated, but very comfortable, very clean. And I have to say, hello, everyone uh, who works here has been very, very helpful to us. So quite a good size toilet and <laughs> bathroom with a clean bathtub. Um, so we had some relaxing time here in the bathtub yesterday. The towels were all right, everything was clean. The bed is enormous and I have to admit we allowed diesel on the bed, but we dog proof our rooms before we let our dog jump on the bed. So as you can see, we have a bedspread, we have blankets. We also have doormats for him. So it was perfect here. We tried to really keep the room as clean as we could because everyone's been so nice and we can see that they work very hard here. I also stripped the bed and some of you could say, oh, this is the room attendant's job. Yes, it is, but to strip one bed, it maybe takes three minutes, maybe less than that. But imagine if you are a room attendant and I've been a room attendant, maybe you've been a room attendant too, and you have 10, 50 or 20 beds to strip, really, it does kill your arms and it does tire you. So if, imagine if this room attendant was your sister, your brother, your relative, your friend, wouldn't you like someone to help them? And when I was a room attendant uh, in Cornwall, Whenever I saw that someone left a bed like that, I thought, oh, these, these are such lovely people. And I just send them this positive, nice thought. So I hope that today will, someone will send us a positive thought, a positive vibe, which will be everything we need for the last leg of our journey. So yeah, another thing I have to mention is that uh, the receptionist agreed to print our paperwork for Eurotunnel, linked to coronavirus, passenger locator forms, and so on. So this is the name of the hotel, and I will leave you a link uh, in the description of this video. The, the hotel is called Kyriad, and we are about two hours from Calais and the Eurotunnel terminal. And that's probably where I will film the next scene. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching. And remember, if you're in a good hotel, you got good service, do strip your bed and help stuff. Here we go again. Those of you who watched our previous vlogs from our epic trip from North Devon to Spain, you know where we are. We are in a car, but at the same time on the train. Uh, we are in the middle of our crossing via Eurotunnel from France to the UK. Today is Thursday. We left Amea de Mar on Monday morning. Today it's Thursday 4.20 and we are on the way to the island. So we are coming to the end of this epic journey and I promised to, to tell you how much we spent just for driving through France. So the costs of paid highways and the costs, and the costs of fuel came to 350 euros so if you are interested in a more detailed breakdown of our trip, let me know in the comments and I will prepare a video for you with costs if you are planning a similar journey. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with us. The next video will be from glorious North Devon where we live. So thank you for your comments. Thank you for the time you spent with us uh, in this trip and also time you spent watching our videos. See you in the next video. Thank you. And one trip ends, one journey ends, and we are already planning the next one. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done it yet, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps us a lot. See you later. Take care for now. Bye-bye.